Hi guys, let's look at the next question. Before we start the next question, let's quickly revise what all we already know. If two or more lines are parallel, then the slopes will be equal. M1 and M2 will be equal. If the two lines are perpendicular, then M1 into M2 will be equal to negative 1. And the standard equation of a line is y is equal to mx plus c. And in case you know the slope of a line, and you know that it passes through x1 and y1, then the equation of the line is given by y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So let's look at question number 18. It says a and c, which is 7, negative 2 and negative 1, negative 6 are the vertices of a square a, b, c, d. We need to find the equations of a, c and b, d. Well, I think this is exactly like the same question that we did, a similar question that we did in the previous video. <coughs> So this is basically a rough diagram. This is a square, which means all four sides are equal and all vertex angles are 90 degree. What do they want me to do? They want me to find the equation of AC and BD. Perfect. So let's revise uh, what we already know about diagonals. Diagonals intersect at 90 degree. Both diagonals are equal and the diagonals bisect each other which means OA in this case is equal to OB is equal to OC is equal to OD perfect so A and C is given which means 7 negative 2 and this is negative 1 negative 6 so let's find the equation of AC first so for that we need the slope so slope of AC will be given by y2 minus y1 uh, will be equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Let's substitute y2 being negative 6 minus 7 or minus plus 2. Sorry, y2 minus y1. That's plus 2 upon x2. That's negative 1 minus 7. That's negative 4 upon negative 8, which means half. Therefore, slope of AC is equal to half. Perfect. What next do we need? We need to find equation of AC. So equation of AC will be given by the formula y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. I know it's passing through negative 1, negative 6. So let's replace y1 as negative 6. So this will be y plus 6 minus of negative 6 that's plus 6 slope we figured out is half x minus of negative 1 which means x plus 1 cross multiply and I get 2y plus 12 is equal to x plus 1 which means 2y is equal to x minus 11 so that's my equation of diagonal AC done now we need to find the equation of the other diagonal we already know that the uh, two diagonals are parallel to each other or sorry are perpendicular to each other and are perpendicular bisectors of each other perfect so since ac is perpendicular to bd and midpoint of ac is equal to midpoint of bd and what's the reason for both of them? Reason would be diagonals of a square bisect each other at 90 degree. Perfect. So that's the reason we've given. Now let's find the midpoint of AC. So midpoint of AC will be equal to negative 1 plus 7 upon 2 and negative 2 minus 6 upon 2. So this is 6 upon 2 which is 3 and this is uh, negative 8 upon 2 which is negative 4. So midpoint of AC which is O in our case is 3 comma negative 4. Since AC perpendicular to BD which means M1 into M2 is equal to negative 1 the slope of AC we've already calculated as uh, half. So half into slope of BD 
is equal to negative 1, which means slope of BD will be equal to negative 1. Right? So, slope of BD we figured out and we know that BD is passing through O, which is 3, negative 4. Therefore, equation of BD will be given by y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. y1, what's the value of y1? That's negative 4, which means y plus 4 will be equal to m, which is negative 2 times x minus x1, that's 3, which means y plus 4 is equal to negative 2x plus 6, which means y plus 2x is equal to 6 minus 4, that's 2. So y plus 2x is equal to 2. This is my equation of diagonal BD. Perfect. That's about it. Let's move on to the next question. The next question that we do will be question number 20. Let's look at question 20. Write down the equation of line AB, which is passing through 3 and 2 and is perpendicular to the line 2y is equal to 3x plus 5. Now, since uh, so let's start writing. What we are trying to figure out is, let's try, so we have a line which is passing through 3, 2. So let's say this is AB, which is passing through 3, 2. And this line is perpendicular to the line 2y is equal to 3x plus 5. That's what we know, right? Equation of line through 3, 2 and is perpendicular to y. So, which means the slope of this line and slope of AB multiplied them will get negative 1. So, let's calculate slope of the given line. So, slope of 2y is equal to 3x plus 5. Let's calculate. So, this will be y is equal to 3 by 2x plus 5 by 2. Therefore, slope is equal to 3 by 2. Now, we know since uh, 2y is equal to 3x plus 5 is perpendicular to, to AB, right? Required line is AB, which means m1 into m2 will be equal to negative 1. m1 in this case is 3 by 2, m2 is the slope of AB and this is equal to negative 1, which means slope of AB will be equal to negative 2 upon 3. So that's the slope of my required line, negative 2 upon 3. Perfect. Now we need to find the uh, equation. So equation of AB. So the slope of this was m is equal to 3 by 2 and the slope of this is m is equal to negative 2 upon 3. So we know it is passing through 3, 2 and it has the slope. So, it will be given by the formula y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So, y minus y1, that's 2, is equal to m. Slope is negative 2 upon 3, x minus x1, which is 3. Let's cross multiply. 3y minus 6 is equal to negative 2x plus 6. Let's uh, find the equation. 3y plus 2x is equal to 2x. That's the equation of AB. That's the required equation. Perfect. What's the next part? The next part says AB meets the x-axis at A and y-axis at B. Calculate the area of triangle OAB where O is the origin. Oh, so first, let's draw a rough diagram once again now. Right, so let's look at the rough diagram again. So I don't know the coordinates. So let me just find the coordinates and then maybe we can plot them. This is O and A is the point where it meets the x-axis. Somewhere here is A and somewhere here is B. So we need to find the coordinates of A and B. So at A, x, the coordinate of A would be x and 0 and coordinates of B would be 0 and y. So at A, y is equal to 0. So let's find the equation of AB. So put 
y is equal to 0 in the equation of ab which is 3y plus 2x is equal to 12 which means y is equal to 0 which means 2x is equal to 12 which means x is equal to 6 therefore a is equal to 6 comma 0 so a is 6 comma 0 so somewhere here is this line it is also passing through 3 comma 2 perfect and the slope is also negative that we figured out the slope is negative 2 by 3 perfect now at b x is equal to 0 so put x is equal to 0 in the equation of ab which is 3y plus 2x is equal to 12 it gives me 3y is equal to 12 which means y is equal to 4 therefore b will be equal to 0 comma 4 so this is 0 comma 4 and this is 6 comma 0 so now we need to find the area of this triangle Therefore, area of triangle OAB is equal to half into base, in this case OA and height will be OB. Uh, this will be half into OA, since this is 6, 0, which means 6 units and this is 0, 4, which means 4 units. So, 2 into 2, which means 12 square units. So, area of triangle OAB is 12 square units. Perfect. You can put a small star on this question. I first require you to find the slope of the required line, then equation of the required line, then it requires you to figure out the point of intersection with x-axis and with y-axis and then calculate the area. Perfect. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number 22. It says, the point P is the foot of the perpendicular from A to the line something. Find equation of the line. So, basically let's draw a rough diagram for our understanding. This is uh, the line which is given as 2y, I mean, 2x minus 3y plus 18 is equal to 0. And P is the foot of the perpendicular which means there is a perpendicular onto this line. This is point P and it is starting from A which is negative 5 comma 7. We need to find equation of line P uh, of line AP and we need to find the coordinates of P. So since 2x minus 3y plus 18 is equal to 0 is perpendicular to required line therefore slope of 2x minus 3y plus 18 is equal to 0 multiplied with slope of a required line will be equal to negative 1. As a simple two lines are perpendicular which means m1 into m2 will be negative 1. So let's look at what will be the slope of this. So slope of 2x minus 3y plus 18 is equal to 0 which means 3y is equal to 2x plus 18, which means y is equal to 2 by 3x plus 18 upon 3, which is 6. Therefore, slope of 2x minus 3y plus 18 is equal to 0 is 2 upon 3. That's the slope of this given line. So, this slope of this line is m is equal to 2 upon 3. So 2 upon 3 multiplied with slope of AP, which is our required line, is equal to negative 1, which means slope of AP will be equal to negative 3 upon 2. I think this negative is not clear, so let me just write this properly. This is negative 1. So M1 into M2 is negative 1, so slope of AP is negative 3 by 2. Now we need to find the equation of line AP. The slope of this line is negative 3 by 2 and it is passing through this line, uh, passing through this point. So then equation of AP will be given by y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. What is y1 in this case? 7 is equal to m. We calculated as negative 3 by 2 
times x minus x1. x1 is negative 5, which means this becomes x plus 5. Let's cross multiply. This gives me 2y minus 14 is equal to negative 3x minus 15. Let's take this on one side. So 2y plus 3x is equal to negative 15 plus 14, which means negative 1. So 2y plus 3x is equal to negative 1. This is or this is not y. This, this is not x. So I am speaking y but writing x. 2y plus 3x is equal to negative 1. This is the equation of AP. Done. Now we need to figure out the coordinate of P. We don't know the coordinate of P, but we know that this equation is 2y plus 3x is equal to negative 1. So point P lies on this equation as well as on this equation, which means it is the intersection of AP and the other line. So we can solve this simultaneously or any other method and find out the point of intersection. So since P lies on both lines, which means let's solve them simultaneously. So this is 2y plus 3x. So 2y plus 3x is equal to negative 1. And my first equation is, let me write it in the same order, negative 3y plus 2x is equal to negative 18. Is this correct? Yes, negative 3y plus 2x is equal to negative 18. So let me multiply the first equation by 3 and second equation by 2. If I do that, then my coordinates or then my coefficient of y x or coefficient of y will become equal. So this becomes 6y plus 9x is equal to negative 3 and this becomes negative 6y plus 4x is equal to negative 36. This gets cancelled and I am left with 13x is equal to negative 39. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3. So put x is equal to negative 3 in the equation 2y plus 3x is equal to negative 1. And let's see what we get. 2y plus 3x into negative 3 is 2y minus 9 is equal to negative 1, which means 2y is equal to negative 1 plus 9, which means 8. Therefore, y is equal to 4. Therefore, p is equal to negative 3 comma 4. The x coordinate is negative 3. The y coordinate is 4. Wonderful. Interesting question. Required a couple of concepts. First, you figured out the slope of this line. Then you said m1 into m2 will be negative 1. So we figured out the slope of AP. Then we figured out the equation of AP. And since P lies on both these lines, we solved it simultaneously. Perfect. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number 23. Question number 23 says A, B and C are three points. Find the equation of AB and BC. So let's do a rough diagram. Let's see where will they lie. So, and because we need to look at something else after this, which is AB cuts Y axis at P. So let's look at a rough diagram. Let's say this is 4, 0. This is A. B is 2, 2. So somewhere here would be B, 2, 2. And C is 0, 6. This is C, which is 0, 6. Perfect. So they want me to find the equation of AB, which is this line, and they want me to find equation of BC, which is this line. And then let's see what else do they say. Oh, I have selected a triangle. That's why it's looking like a triangle. Yes. Perfect. Next they say if AB cuts the y axis at P, also, then AB is being extended. So let me extend AB and AB is being extended. AB is getting extended and it cuts the Y axis at point P. And BC cuts the X axis at Q. Oh, perfect. So this is point P. And this is point Q. Perfect. We need to find the coordinates of P and Q. 
So I know that Q lies on the X axis, so it will be X zero and P would be zero Y. So let's write this down. Since P lies on X axis, oh, not X, P lies on Y axis. Y axis, therefore, let it be, let P be zero comma Y and Q lies on X axis. Therefore, let Q be X comma zero. Perfect. Next, find the equation of A, B and B, C. This one simple. We know the coordinates. We can find the slope. So let's find. So slope of A, B will be given by Y2 minus Y1 upon X2 minus X1. In this case, zero minus two upon 4 minus 2. That's negative 2 upon 2, which means negative 1. So slope of AB is negative 1. Equation of AB will be given by Y minus Y1. Let it be 2 is equal to M, which is negative 1, X minus X1. That's again 2, which means Y minus 2 is equal to negative X plus 2 which means y plus x is equal to 4. So this is equation of AB. Done. Now let's find the slope of BC since they want the slope of BC. Slope of BC will be given by y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. In this case, BC y2 is 6 minus 2 upon 0 minus 2, which means 4 upon negative 2 which means this is equal to negative 2. Perfect. Now let's find equation of BC. This again will be given by Y minus Y1. Let Y1 be 6 M X minus 0, which means Y is equal to negative 2X plus 6. Or I can write this as Y plus 2X is equal to 6. So that's my equation of BC. Uh, let's write it clearly here. Y is equal to Y plus 2X is equal to 6. That's my equation of BC. Done. So find the equation of AB done. Find the equation of BC done. We need to find the coordinates of Q and P. Now where, which line does Q lie on? Q lies on AB. Since, no, Q lies on BC, sorry. Since Q lies on BC and Q is X comma zero lies on what's the equation of BC? It lies on Y plus two X is equal to six. Put Y is equal to zero and we get two X is equal to six, which means X is equal to three. Therefore, Q is equal to three comma zero done so this is three comma zero and since p lies on a b there and so p is equal to zero comma y lies on the line a b what was the equation of a b y plus x is equal to four put x is equal to zero and we get y is equal to four Therefore, P is equal to 0, 4. So this is 0, 4. Done. Let's see what else do they want in the question. They say find coordinates of P and Q. Done. Next. This brings me to the last question of this exercise that we do, which is question number 25. You can put a small star on this question. Again, an interesting question. Find the value of A for which these three points are collinear. So if points are collinear, which means, so let me draw a rough diagram. This is A, B and C. This is A3, this is 2, 1 and this is 5A. So if these are collinear, then slope of AB will be equal to the slope of BC. So let's write this down. Since A, B, C are Collinear, therefore, slope of AB 
is equal to slope of BC. So let's calculate slope of AB. It will be y2 minus y1, 1 minus 3 upon 2 minus A. Perfect. This is equal to uh, BC, which is A minus 1 upon 5 minus 2. Uh, I think I told you in one of the previous classes, videos that I always prefer to keep this as a minus 2 variable first. So let me rewrite this. I will not cancel it, but I will rewrite this. I will take this as 3 minus 1 upon a minus 2 is equal to a minus 1 upon 5 minus 2. Perfect. It will help me because uh, calculating with 2 minus a becomes slightly complicated at times. Now this is 2 upon a minus 2 is equal to a minus 1 upon 3. I think I'll get a co uh, quadratic now. Let's cross multiply a minus 1 times a minus 2 is equal to 6. This gives me a square minus 2a minus a plus 2 is equal to 6. a square minus 3a plus 2 minus 6 is equal to 0 a square minus 3a minus 4 is equal to 0. So quadratic, I need to find equal, uh, factors of negative 4, the sum of which is negative 3, which means 4 and 1, but negative 4 and plus 1. So a square minus 4a plus a minus 4 is equal to 0. Let's group it like this. a times a minus 4 plus 1 times a minus 4 is equal to 0 a minus 4 is common. So a minus 4 times a plus 1 is equal to 0, which means a is equal to 4 or a is equal to negative 1. So I've got two values of a. Let's see what do we need to do next. So I've got two values of a. a is equal to 4 or a is equal to negative 1. What else do we have to do? We need to find the equation of the line. So then we will have two equations when a is equal to 4 and when a is equal to negative 1. So we will find equation of two separately. So when a is equal to 4, point a is 4 comma 3 and point b is 2 comma 1. Perfect. And when a is equal to negative 1, a is equal to negative 1 comma 3 and b is equal to 2 comma 1. So let's find the slope of AB. In this case, slope of AB would be equal to y2 minus y1, which is 1 minus 3 upon 2 minus 4, which is equal to negative 2 upon 2, which is negative 1. Is this correct? when a is equal to 4. So this is 4, 3 and this is 2, 1. So we need to find the equation of the line. It will be 1 minus 3, that's negative 2 and that's 2 minus 4. Oh, so this will be plus 1 because this will be negative 2 upon negative 2. So slope will be plus 1. So let's find the equation. Equation of AB then will be given by y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So y minus y1, let's take this as 3 is equal to slope is 1, x minus 4, which means y is equal to x minus 4 plus 3, which means y is equal to x minus 1. So that's the equation, one equation of AB. Now in case A is negative 1, let's calculate slope of AB. Again, y2 minus y1, which is 1 minus 3 upon 2 minus negative 1, which is 2 plus 1 which means negative 2 upon 3. So the slope is negative 2 upon 3, which means equation of AB will be given by y minus y1. Let the y1 be 1. Slope is negative 2 by 3, x minus 2. Let's cross multiply. 3y minus 3 is equal to negative 2x plus 4. So 3y plus 2x is equal to 4 plus 3. That's 7. Therefore, equation of AB is y is equal to x minus 1 or 3y plus 2x is equal to 7. 
So there are two possible equations. We figured out both of them. Now that the, uh, this exercise is over, let's look at some homework questions for you. So if I remember correctly, till last time we've given uh, till question number 16 as homework. Let's look at question number 19, question number 21, and question number 24. So three questions for homework. Take care, be safe, bye-bye.